to be able to hold against this. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be... This is like Liquid's trump card. It's always been, when our back's against the wall, we're going to brood you. And it happened today. All right, well, we're going to see whether or not Liquid can perform. Take this game, too. Who made you captain? Beachy Gaming up one to zero, but a last pick, Broodmother. Makes things look pretty good. It's also the first time, I believe, that we've seen a sniper without a Drill Ranger in the game. Is it? I don't know. Uh, I feel like almost every single time I see a sniper, it's because I've seen a Drill. But maybe I'm wrong. Could be uh, against an OD as well, I guess. Thank you, Matu. As, uh... I think something that we noticed too is like Vici really likes these abilities to hit the tower and then they want their heroes that can catch somebody while they try to defend the towers. So they love their bat riders, their disruptors, these types of heroes that continue the play. It's like going for the and one in basketball. Yeah. It seems like uh, with the, the way they play, it was very effective against Team Liquid last game where they just assumed a tower was going to be taken, but rather Vici Gaming would mass rotate all over the map and get extra pickoffs instead of taking that objective. Yeah, it's about uh, punishing Liquid's like greedier style where oftentimes their cores like to play split up. Against lesser teams, I think it works, but against this Vici squad, at least in the last game, I mean, they caught them every single time. Plus, I just don't think they had enough damage on their yeah. supports. But this time, I think it's much better. Like, Earthshaker is one of those heroes when you're ahead, it feels really, really good. Because it feels like he's doing a lot with his fissures. And when he's behind, it feels like he's done nothing in the game. You're echo slamming single targets. Uh, you're putting out like 300 damage in a team fight. It doesn't really feel that effective. Same kind of thing for the Abaddon in that game, right? Where it's like from behind, you're providing a little bit of heal and maybe taking off and disable, but you're still getting run over. It doesn't change anything. Our mid lane matchup, you know, the panel was talking about RTK was very emphatic about something. We don't know what. Uh, they thought maybe it was going to be the lanes. Looks like we're going to stick with Paparazzi Let's against go, Matumba Man's right. food mother. the Liquid chance coming out. Liquid indeed does have a lot of fans here being former TI champs. But Glitz, you had something I think pretty interesting to say in the, the backstage about where you consider Liquid as a top tier team. Oh, right now, like, the, the problem with Liquid is that I think I keep affording them a lot of respect based on their past accomplishments. Yeah. And I give them such a wide berth because of their individual skill and who their captain is. So I just keep assuming even when they have bad results, they're going to eventually pick it up. But we just haven't really seen that. Like, this is not a top... This is not a team that you expect just the top eight from. This is a team that you expect, like, a top three finish from consistently. And they just haven't really been able to find that kind of finish this season as Mind Control going to get gone on temporarily. Do it the setup where they're giving GH uh, an actual solo lane right now while well, Mind Control is a three position, just plays jungle. So, again, a very greedy Liquid style. This game, I think, though, it's going to be a little bit harder to punish. Well, hopefully for Liquid, it's harder for uh, Vici to punish this just because they do have uh, this mid Broodmother that isn't actually doing that well. Oh, Ember Spirits crushing this matchup so far. 14-2 and two compared to 8-1. and one. You have to imagine some of those are Spiderlings, but still, uh, maybe that's what ROTK was emphatic about. He was telling... Paparazzi, don't lose to these guys. Don't let them last pick through to you. Show them why you keep winning these one-on-one -on -one tournaments. Net worth remaining pretty even. A side lane sniper for Vici Gaming. He's doing pretty well for himself as uh, Fox saying, oh, we pretty much this? see him in. What is this? A man trying to hide away in the trees. He needs to throw out another weapon. A slide of fist actually finish him off. Paparazzi outplays the mid lane. It secures yet another first blood as he's done so many times in his career. That is a bad, bad man. Paparazzi is not a dude to mess around with. Vici, gonna start going on GH here. Very unlikely kill. Now, yeah. as uh, even with a stun, I think unless he's quite low. That's definitely gonna be a, a big boost to morale for Vici Gaming. Is being able to beat this Broodmother in lane 
will help slow him down and slow down that, you know, inevitable where he just kind of takes the, the mid tower and then he starts getting an extra farm. Miracle and Serious Shuffle here with a sticky napalm on him. Yang just going to run him down underneath his tier one tower. My control's going to try and save him here, but doesn't have the Malphys, and that is going to be a trade off that Yang will gladly take. Yeah, he's going to miss some XP too on Miracle and Liquid. Yeah, at least for the early laning phase, not uh, really going their way. Sniper getting good farm. Ember Spirit getting that solo first blood, picking up quite a bit of CS himself. And Batrider with that solo kill. They've lost two of their uh, lanes already. Atama Man doesn't even have the space to farm neutrals for free. It's Paparazzi just continues to stay on top of him at all points. Yeah, he's just hounding him right now. This slide of fist build is doing so much work. It's even better against Brute, because there's no reason to go for the chains. That'll be impossible to hit to begin with, as GH. he's getting really low. He's gonna get knocked out of his sandstorm here, taking a lot of damage from Fade. He's gonna try and finish him off here, won't be able to get that last and final shot. There's still Magic Sig charges in there as well. So GH pops a healing salve. So a little bit surprised that they, uh, they leave the Monkey King and are gonna have like kind of mind control is gonna half babysit him mostly yeah. just pull the lane back this is a really interesting style that they decided to go for where gh is more of the three position this game and uh mind control sort of babysitting a little bit Kuro is gonna run in choose the lane with the sanking here in bottom but Five minute battery runes were coming up, but Kuro is going to be dead long before that. GH doesn't even want to run into the Shrapnel Tears. The Ice Bath does go out. They managed to get that kill, but GH is going to slide on in, pick up that bounty rune. Might be able to get the other one as well as he Burrow Strikes up, but Fade is there. And now, because he doesn't have Burrow Strike, all Fade has to do is body block him just a little bit, and that will be a second kill for Vici. And now it's 4-1. to one. Yang still doing perfectly fine in this top lane. He's beating... Miracle and CS, he's got that solo kill like we talked about. Uh, mid lane, Matumba Man is continuing to do brood things, so he will catch up. If you're a Liquid fan, you shouldn't stress too much about Matumba Man's game. Spots DY, DY will be able to get a really good impale, hitting Spiderlings as well as a brood mother. Yeah, Matumba Man's just not going to continue to go for this. This is Paparazzi hanging around this area as Fade now finds Kuro. Might just go for the Sprout. The Ember Spirit's also making his way forward, but in fact, they disengage. It looks like Paparazzi wants to just continue to put pressure on this mid lane. Uh, top lane, getting pretty heavily harassed right now. The Catapult being protected right now. Good as... use of the Eidolons. You may be suiciding them, but it's keeping the Siege Wagon alive long enough for them to take this tier one tower. Let make sure to mouth this Yang so he can't get the deny. Very well done by Liquid. Uh, do you think this switch up of like mind control being top and this really weird laning setup that we don't see from Liquid, you think some of this comes down to what uh, Kerr was saying in a recent interview where he said, you know, we're, we won TI, we're an older team, everyone's seen us, everyone's seen how we play, they've studied us, we have to be able to find different ways to be able to surprise our enemies. Burrow strike out, Sandstorm right on top of the Cypher right now, does have another round of shrapnel, but with the Monkey King, they finish up that tier 1 tower and you can see why they have that urgency. It allows Miracle to rotate out and help get the kill at bottom. That is well done by Miracle. And just good rotation uh, to continue to be very aggressive, get active on the map as Paparazzi using that DD rune trying to get Spiderlings out. Another 3 seconds for another slight. 12 spiders have died, so not too many. It's only 90 gold. Yeah, that's not too bad. So it goes to show that like a lot of paparazzi's net worth, it's not because of Matama Man's feeding away spiders nonstop, it's just because he's owning the lane and getting all the CS. Trying to farm up this hard camp stack, DY. Throws out an impale, we'll take one or two of them, but most of it, all GHs. It's an early level 5 for him, he's still maxing out Sandstorm. So he's going to be playing a very farm heavy Sand King, it seems. I think it sort of works in this game. Especially since uh, Mind Control has taken that top tower, nobody really feels comfortable being up there. Like, you're probably not ever going to send a sniper up there. Uh, there's just too many ways for him to die at this point. Yeah. And so now the map is freed up. Medallion 
can make very short work of these supports, but Yang was spot the trap. He's going to be able to slow down this brood mother. He still managed to get the kill, but if they can just keep sticking Apoc, but he's too damn fast. Now the first strike on a two with a sandstorm as well. The ice path, that's a lot of AoE damage. Fade is forced to run himself away while Paparazzi with a haste rune continues to fight. Despite that initiation. Yeah, that's just what Broodmother does. With the medallion, supports just aren't safe. No. You can stun them up, but if you're in the webs, you're most likely just dead. And Miracle now, giving himself a free lane, has recovered since that early start where he was killed. And that's thanks to uh, Mind Control coming up there, Helm of dominating that creep and making life easy for himself as Ori. <laughs> they want to make the main move on the Miracle. They miss on both spells. Shrapnel and Sprout both are whiffing. This is a bit of a problem for this sniper. Is Vici Gaming side lane sniper? They're having to commit so many resources, so many heroes to make sure he stays safe because I mean it's just not the lane you want to be in as a sniper. You want to be in a small, short lane where you're not very far from your tower. Curl throws out the ice path, will be able to get the stun on Paparazzi, but Paparazzi's just gonna run down Curl. Seems like no one from Liquid will try and save their captain as he just continues to cut the way. Bottom lane though, Monkey King is gonna be in trouble here until GH arrives. Beachy Gaming seeing that teleport in back up. I mean, they keep trying to go for him, but he's got 1,000 HP and 20 stick charges. A very unlikely kill to be had on a miracle. 10 minute bounties are coming up here. DY's in an awkward spot to Helmet Dominator. Centaur will be able to get the stun to ensure the kill. Paparazzi's now going to show up and try and even up the scoreboard here. See if he can kill Mind Control, but all these. Oh, and on the other spear, he's dropping low and fast. Just managed to get off the big slide of fist. It's gonna last a while before he jumps away to his remnant. My control will eventually take out here. That black hole was good, but he didn't have the damage to be able to find anything there. The Ember Spear and his phase boots build, that armor, allowed him to tank up against those spiderlings and the brood mother for so long. They did lose the sniper during this time, so That's true. gold change is not bad at all for Liquid. Oh, top lane, Fade trying to go for the teleport out. Not quite enough tick damage there. And he does have a TP up if he wants to go on Kuro in this top lane, but it looks like Yang's got this wrapped up by himself. Yeah, he's got this pretty easily. There is 10 stick charges, but the, you know Kuro, you're still dead. You just bought yourself two more seconds. And bottom lane? Fade actually TP bot towards this Monkey King. He knows he's in trouble. Trying to get off the Wukong skin now. There's gonna be too many disables here. Gets off at least the stun, but can't separate himself from Paparazzi, who shows up, gets the kill, and will run back to his remnant here in mid lane. Still perfectly fine for Liquid. Every single time somebody does die, they are creating space in some way. A much more successful uh, start to the lanes in game number two. Score is 5-8, to eight, but a little bit deceiving because Liquid, they've got the tower down. <laughs> And just continues to hit. This light never ends. Just gonna. It's never ending. Now he's got another one. Just gonna. How uh, can you actually stop this? The ice bath. Oh, no instant disable there. Meanwhile, they do manage to get an impale on GH. He's got burst strike as well as the sandstorm. How can you push into that with your eidolons and spiderlings? A paparazzi's just able to do slight of fist after slight of fist. That genuinely felt infinite. All right, we, uh, we'll just keep doing that, I guess. I mean, it's a great hero to defend this mid tower at this point. And they're gonna use the other heroes of BG Gaming to be able to catch Miracle again. Last time he overextended himself, this time he's just straight up ganked by four. And a double damage rune will make that mid tower even easier to defend for Paparazzi. Good news though for Liquid is that GH almost has that blink dagger. They're still being very greedy on the map, so even yeah. with the kill disadvantage, uh, they're still getting something at all times. Either somebody's hitting jungle creeps, and Matama Man actually going for a very interesting build here, opting to go for a full-on pipe. I mean, that'll help protect against a lot of this magic damage, whether it's going to be this, uh, all this fire damage from the Batrider, or the Maelstrom's going to be coming in soon. Spiders do die. 
but the Maelstrom is gonna, that's gonna be a lot of magic damage. Oh, he actually switches up. He had Maelstrom earlier, now thinks Battle Fury is gonna be his better choice. Let me just say, after he saw how many times his hero bounced, <laughs> I think there's almost no chance. I, I think once those two hits happened, he convinced himself that it was a good idea. Yeah. And I'm not sure he's entirely wrong. I mean, all he has to do is just hold these towers up, right? Yeah. Like, eventually, Vichy Gaming is going to get to a point where the sniper is super scary. Plus, I think he saw the, because of the pipe, he yeah. figures his Maelstrom is also just going to be less effective. I think the pipe really affected his decision. Curl, dead again to Yang, who keeps on finding the captain of Team Liquid. Yang's been a boss this game. Yeah. Second in net worth in this game overall. Uh, this mid tower, nice deny. This is the second game in a row where they've gotten it, and they're trying to set up as Miracle hiding in the wings, but unable to do anything. Paparazzi. Now picks up his blink. He destroyed this matchup. He took the mid tower before the Broodmother could. Yeah, he was real good in it. Plus, he got that solo kill. Yeah. Still, though, as you said, Team Liquid just greeting it out. They have like three different heroes who can farm neutrals at any point. And as a result, they're not behind in net worth, even though they are very far behind in kills. And are uh, not even on towers, it looks like. Switch to travel, blink! Yang can continue to make big plays as they're gonna be able to find the third pickoff on Miracle over the last like five minutes. Miracle's farm has just been stalled out now. If it was the Fade and DY show last game, it is the Yang show right now. Yeah. Yang is doing whatever he wants around the map. It feels like every time we see him show up on the map, he is getting a kill. And this is just the cost of how Liquid decides to play Dota in this series. It's, we're never really going to be the aggressors. We'll sit back, we'll split up and farm, and hopefully we just kind of uh, win by being a little bit greedier than you. It seems a, a weird decision to make to play that kind of style, considering seems like the worst kind of style to play against Vici Gaming, who is so adept at being able to find these non-stop pickoffs all over the map. I, I think in this game, who knows, as Vici, Yang is looking for it again, GH is trying to get the hell out, as uh, he still has a tower that he can play behind, does have Sandstorm, he's got a Blink Dagger, he wants his team, I think, to rotate for this, this is still a healthy tower for them to defend. They do not want to give up another tower. He, GH is not going to be able to get off the Sandstorm inside. DY immediately just blows out the finger of death. They want to burst down the Sand King before the rotations can come out from Team Liquid. But Team Liquid aren't actually defending this tower. They're going to go straight towards... Well, they were going towards mid. Now they're going to smoke up. Now this bottom tower... Fighting in Yang, there's a big kill, they do manage to get damage on it before he can blink away. Now the Ice Path to hold him in place inside the Wukong's Command. They're gonna run out of Cliff Area here, but the Wukong's Command should be enough to finish him off. DY gets a stun onto the Monkey King, but Mike Control has DY well in his hands. 7 to 12 now. Nicely done. And they needed to slow down the bat, uh, the bat Rider's momentum. And Miracle's now gonna be able to defend this bottom lane. Good job by Liquid, they're gonna take back the very slight gold lead that they have. Ori has just been chilling out in this triangle. Every single time we look at him, he's just farming away in this area. He's got Mask of Madness. A Maelstrom's gonna be up soon for him. The Monkey King connects a little bit too late. As we see, his heat map is super simple. Go bottom, die twice, spawn out the jungle. Speaking of bottom, Liquid. They're getting a big push here in bottom lane. Miracle's just going to hang out in the trees to make sure my control will be able to get this tower. Mid is also taking a lot of damage to Spiderlings right now. Very surprised that Ember Spirit has left that, considering how long he's held. You can see Motoma Man, he's like a little bit scared. He's got it. Using his Spiderlings, but does manage to get that tower as well. Very weird change of pace that VG Gaming were willing to just give up on both of those. Yeah, and with a pipe, it's not even like the Bat Rider can finish off those Spiderlings, and now they're in a really good position. Oh, they stage. see him. They have high ground vision now. GH, they are going to be able to get the Hex first here, and now with the extra follow-up from Paparazzi, GH is dead. And this is not just your four position. This is pretty much a three, uh, the way that GH has been farming up. And Kuroki guesses correctly, goes to his left. We'll make it out no problem. The top of the man, thanks to taking that mid tower, now has an orchid. Has also taken the top net worth slot. Oh, he's actually quite far now. 
This is going to be a really nice counter to the Ember Spirit, who is not even close to a defensive item. A very fast Battle Fury, and look at him, just an all-physical damage build now. Think of Nesso next. Yeah, they're thinking about Roshing, and they are, in fact, in the pit. And I don't know if uh, Vici knows about this at all. It doesn't seem like it, because they have a Haste on this Ember Spirit. If he ran into that pit, I think he could single-handedly defend. But no scan or anything like that, and I mean, Vici, they might think that there's a smoke happening, and now some pings are happening. They are going to scan successfully, but Roshan already at 2,000 HP. Throw a strike out, follow up Ice Path, just enough to force Paparazzi out of this mid area and ensure that they can finish up Roshan here. The rotations are going to come too slow from Vici. I like that move a lot from the two supports on Liquid. That was one of those uh, moves that there's no intention to kill at all, it's just to scare. Yeah. It absolutely secures them to Roshan. Well done by Liquid. And their strategy for game two, which they try to execute for game one, is much more successful in this game. Like, just cleaner play overall. No one's getting caught that badly. Last game, it just felt like it was a feeding frenzy. The double bubble strat is going to be able to catch GH here. They sent his treants down to bottom lane and then teleported himself, Yang. Meanwhile, Boots had traveled onto those treants. And so there was nobody bottom just, you know, 20 seconds ago. And now there's a kill squad with GH's name on their list. Still, with an Orchid on Matama Man, we'll go unchallenged for quite some time. I don't think the Ember Spirit, uh, once he notices this, should sort of swerve a little bit. Yeah, you should go Lincoln's at that point, right? Even BKB, I think, is perfectly acceptable. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Especially considering you just have uh, no other Lincoln's disables, right? Burrow Strike can go through, Bound the Strike, same thing. Bottom tower is under attack. BKB is up next for Matamba Man. That is split pushing. His VG Gaming's game has slowed down a lot when it comes to they didn't defend towers as much, they gave up Roshan as well. Seems a bit uncharacteristic to me, anyway. Fade. Places of Ward where the tier 1 tower used to be as a uh, stun comes out. It's just the illusion. Liquid got excited there for a second, thought they found somebody. But Vici being very careful around the Aegis of Liquid. And no, he just continues to go for the Deso, his Bon out, Mythal Hammer, as well as the Orb. You get a smoke up now from Vici Gaming, a four-man smoke. The Furion can show himself top lane and still join his team. It looks like they're going to get the pickoff on Kuro here. Vici Gaming having no qualms about smoking up and just getting whatever pickoff presents itself. But now the Furion runs into mind control. It seems like both of them are a little surprised by that. His fade certainly doesn't have anything. He's only got a spirit vessel. That's it. They're going to jump in mid lane and find a big pickoff on the sniper. That is one of the two cores that can defend these towers. The other one being that Ember Spirit who is currently residing in bottom lane. Really nice aggressive move there. Or he stood absolutely no chance as Miracle just continues to hunt. I think they don't want to get into a high ground situation against a fat Ember Sniper with the cores that they have. I mean, the Enigma is going to be really good in this game because they don't have the easiest way to cancel them out. But everybody else, I think, on the side of Vici wants to play this out late. Like, they'll be really happy having the cores that they have. Because we know that Broodmother falls off. We know that Monkey King eventually will have a hard time once his BKB charges get low. Yeah, how are you going to stop this BKB Enigma? Spine Control almost has it here, Yang. Spots him for a moment, blink for blink, is going to be able to catch up to Mind Control here, gets the lasso now. He's going to be taking a lot of damage from the Idol under the coming. Centaur Sun as well. Miracle's going to be able to get the Boundless Strike, DY tries to come in, Sun's up the Centaur, GH will follow up though, has the Burrow Strike. He's got a hasty too. To pick off, but it's going to be Yang who dies, and now potentially DY as well, as he tries to run up to the high ground, gets the stun onto the Sand King, but three seconds for the Blink Dagger, Miracle's here as well, gets the Jingu Stacks. A double kill for the Monkey King as Liquid just start marching down the lanes to get ahead towards mid where this Battle Fury can do a lot to defend. 
Immediately, Matumba Manatee takes too much damage. Pops his life steal. Gets back up to full. The rest of his team will join him on this hunt for the tier two tower. That was very well done by Miracle. He connected so quickly to mind control, didn't just give up on his friend. And the Aegis is gonna fade before they get some sort of high ground attempt going, but they've used it just to build their network lead, get some towers out of the way. They might even get this tier two tower up at top. This removes all but one tier two tower that uh, Vici have to play with. And just very well done by Liquid. Much more controlled game than we saw in game number one. And now this is looking like the Broodmother game that the panel were expecting, where the Broodmother starts taking over a bit. It was delayed because of a rough laning phase. And she could also just die right now. Yeah, and that's true. She doesn't have BKB. No Aegis is now. One second, it's just gone right now. Yanks down the BKB and he's not going to be able to get out the pipe fast enough. He's going to get the disabled. They're going to burst him down so quickly. Spoke too soon, it seems, as now Matumba Man is dead for a full minute. Liquid are going to reside on this high ground, though, not retreating just yet. They're willing to fight four on five, I guess. Without the uh, Batrider grip, as Shabno's laid out, Miracle in a very good position, provided he doesn't get caught in those trees. He would instantly make the fight a four on four if one of the supports just run into him. DY. Trying to get vision up into this high ground. Miracle will drop down. Daring to get a little bit more aggressive. You could see the bad rider. I think he was going. I think he had a good idea of where the Monkey King was. Like that's where he would hide and try to go for uh, breaking down the trees with a fast blink play. A lot of pings right now. It looks like tier two tower was just taken passively. Yeah. Okay, with the Treants. Uh, nobody from Liquid went back to defend. Yeah, they didn't want to give up their aggressive positioning, especially with the Bounty Runes coming up. Yeah, now they're, uh, they, two seconds ago, I mean, they had a 5k gold lead. And with the pickoff on Matumba Man and the Tier 2 Tower, all of a sudden, it's decreased quite a bit. The Bounty Runes now being picked up. Relatively even. Oh, this is just a casual buckler, it seems. He yeah, had the uh, Crimson Guard stuff. queued up first, but I think because of the game state, he decided to change things up as DY most likely dead here. In fact, he certainly is. Oh, the Orchid on the Paparazzi is going to wear out, though. Will be able to get the Slide of Fist and gets the control onto the Broodmother. Or he was here, but they don't feel strong enough to take the damage onto Matumba Man because that lifesteal on okay, the Yang. Creep Wave can help sustain him. Yeah, Yang has come in, though, and it is indeed going to be a BKB by Paparazzi. I think he just assumes with the amount of armor he has in the stats that if the Brood catches him solo, he's still going to live. Yeah. Which is a bit of a greedier uh, hard call to make, but... But it seems to have worked. He hasn't died to that Broodmother solo kill yet. Nope. And he's still top net worth in the game. Uh, we're starting to get four staffs out on the side of Vici 2 to be able to disengage from these two melee cores. And Liquid, I think, are sort of on a timer because of this. Like, they have multiple ways to disengage on the side of Vici. And I think that mobile cores just went out in Dota. Like, Ember, I think, will eventually be able to just win this game by himself. The X Factor, of course, is the Enigma, where they don't have the easiest ways to cancel the black hole. I could very easily see Mind Control win this game, too. But if I'm Liquid, I'd still want to play a little bit faster. Maybe be trying to do that as I see the courier flying out. It's probably going to be some sort of... No, well, maybe not. Say TP up to top lane. That's another big power spike, yeah. the BKB on the Monkey King. Oh, yeah. It now adds two, uh, three BKB targets. I think all three cores of Liquid have BKB. Yeah, now I was about to say, now we're getting some real spider gold. 500 gold plus for the That's... atmosphere over the course of this game. Is that a lot? It's not that yeah. shabby. Much. Oh, the Eidolons, though. Yeah, the Eidolons. 24 Eidolons lead to, like, half the gold. Yeah, that's a... I mean, a thousand of his gold, of his 15k net worth, is just purely from this extra bit being spawned by Liquid. Oh, what a pickoff this would be if they could actually find it, but they're gonna smoke in the wrong direction here. I'm not sure what that positioning was for Mori. It just seemed like he was kind of AFK, but... Paparazzi gonna go for the oh, TP out, and it's too late. Yep. 
The smoke pops and GH just dives into the trees here. <laughs> Little do they know. Like, oh, hey, there's a lion. Not really what they wanted out of this for sure. Yeah, DY is incredibly bad. I think Paparazzi just coincidentally TP'd out. I think so too. Judging by how DY just ran in there. I mean, a better pickoff would lead to a guaranteed Roshan, but with oh, the double damage now moved? being taken away, nice. Jewel Scepter gonna be able to get away before GH can burrow strike. But still, they oh, found the angle now. Too. They found the sniper. BKB is going to be activated here. They're trying to finish him off. The lasso goes down. That's one. But Trumpet Man's going to take up the chase and try and finish off this damage dealer. He's running out of webs, or he's trying to juke him out right now and stay on top of the sniper and finish him off. But at the same time, my control gets a little bit low. Paparazzi wasn't quite able to finish anybody up on the side of Liquid. They can play around this shrine. They have the buyback coming out from the sniper, and it looks like he may have already sent him. The center, the FS center. GH not finding the pro strike though. Needs to be able to get to the back line. Paparazzi or playing a Away from Miracles, does have the Jingu Sacks, need to be able to swing on somebody, has the lifesteal, but he's dropping a little bit low. Lion is bought back as well, Fate's trying to get away, but Curl stays on top of him, giving up his life potentially to be able to ensure this kill, but Fate stays alive! They barely save him just in time, Team Liquid, they lose their captain, and they get out, they say, we forced a lot of buybacks, that was well worth it for us. And that's why Vichy, they're going to continue to try to push the issue, Fate instantly TPs back, they want to continue to play around this Roche Pit area, as Ori and DY did buy back for that, so the overall net worth swing does still go in favor of Liquid. But Roshan, the bigger objective, as Vichy, they're pinging, they still have Black Hole on the side of Liquid. They use these buybacks, they cannot afford to give up Roshan like this. Vichy Gaming. They also can't take Roshan themselves, so they're at a bit of a stalemate until Liquid. They're just gonna wait for Jakira to come back and take the fight again. Yeah. They still have Black Hole. Fate does have a four staff, he'll be okay. Love the choice of multiple four staffs here from VG Gaming. They gotta get away from the Broodmother, out of the Wukong's command as often as possible, but again, Liquid, they're the ones who can really determine when the fight happens here. They're gonna jump in, throw a strike, out to the side, they're gonna get hacked out, but tell me they're trying to finish him off by control, BKB actually is just gonna use the black hole, ensure the Ember Spirit kills, because they know he doesn't have black hole. Lion's gonna get Bow Strike up, he's dead. Now Miracle chases down Yang. This is all three coins of Vichy Gaming just dying like this. Batrider does manage to juke it out for a moment, blinks away, tries to TP out. He'll be okay as Miracle can't find the kill fast enough. But the two important kills and the Sniper and the Ember Spirit, neither one has buyback. I love Liquid right now because they just dared Vichy to come into the Roshan pit and they knew that Mind Control still had BKB ulti. And they played around that fact. Yeah. They knew that there was no bad rider grip. They knew that uh, Mind Control had BKB ulti. They finally went for some sort of aggressive play in this series, and it pays off big time. And Ori has no way to protect himself right now from the two cores of Liquid. Liquid still have to be careful because the sniper can still repel them. Uh, he's dead for 30, but their high ground defense on the side of Vichy is still scary. But big win overall for Liquid so far. 16 to 17, 7,000 net worth lead, and now we're going to find an extra kill as Yang is going to be saved by the 4 staff coming out from Fade, and they do manage to get a decent son of Matamba Man. Miracle making sure they don't have an opportunity to go on his mid laner, threatening the Wukong's command, and Vichy Gaming can't really fight into that, especially without their Sniper and Ember Spirit, who are just about to come up, but just a bit too late to be able to save the melee players. So you'll have to nearly stop him, that bad from being able to pull Matamba Man to his death, but Tumba Man probably is falling bleed, he stays alive, Miracle, who fights him back with the BKB, but Ori's on his way. He needs to be able to jump away into the trees if he does so before the slide of fist damage comes out. That was the cheese timing, right? Beautiful cheese, just in time. And that's, I think, in large part, the Yule Scepter. If he'd been pulled back a little bit closer to Vichy Gaming, then Matumba Man dies before he can get off that heal. And that felt instantaneous from GH as a response. So good. Team Liquid. They continue to be aggressive. Oh, I really love this. They still have Aegis. They know that Vichy Game is just one fight away from losing this game with no buyback on the Sniper right now. And the Ember Spirit, he didn't, he wasn't able to buy back last time because of gold. And it's not like he's had a whole lot of time to farm here as Liquid just keep on pushing the pace against them. And Liquid have to learn from the mistakes of VP as we see right here. The instant Yule Scepter coming out. How low did he get? 100? And he got so low, about 120 HP. 
I mean, even if he's just pulled into tier 4 tower range at that point. Didn't they have finger? Dyer's top I felt like they had finger plus gosh. aether lens. That probably was a kill. Yeah. Maybe they just got a little bit greedy here as uh, Curl might just get, get caught out. Pick off with the Wrath of Nature into Yang being able to pull him in with the lasso. Where's the Wrath of Nature damage? It actually got soaked up by too many creeps. They don't get it. That's true. Oh, might not get this one anymore. The ice map comes out. Mac of Fire as well. GH with the epicenter not going to be able to catch up to Yang. Yang flies away to the trees, but eventually the Firefly wears out. Dual Scepter going to be causing damage, unable to blink away. Trying to go for the five position, ends up giving away their three. Not exactly what Vichy Gaming was looking for. Not at all. I think they thought that the Wrath of Nature was going to come in at any moment. Just those two heroes alone, not quite enough to kill the captain as two minutes still remain. And this is a long two minutes. This should lead to the tier two and potentially even a high ground attempt with the Batrider still dead for 30. At least the tier two will be completely uncontested. Matama Man going for that nullifier going for his own mini doom build or he'll have the orchid and the nullifier to be able to go on either the ember spirit or the sniper and they're so dependent on those four staffs then just being able to save one of the oh what an opportunity here as they found the ember spirit with the first strike follow us ice map they have the malfish as well and ember spirit's not able to jump away in time he does have buyback but liquid they're certainly going to force it out of him and still a minute and a half on this aegis from miracle just a much cleaner team game from Liquid. Miracle hopping through the trees here. He's got to be careful though. He jumps too close to the bat rider. He's going to cut down the tree. That's an opportunity. Or he immediately brought to BKB and starts laying damage into Miracle as fast as possible. Can they finish him up in time though? The balance strike with the life steal. He's able to give him a big boost of HP and he will be able to back up. He's not losing that Aegis just yet. Good discipline is Liquid. They pop the pipe. They get everybody out. They didn't have to lose anybody for that. That was the big buyback on the paparazzi. And they can go ahead and grab that nullifier as well. And they still have BKB Black Hole. Yeah. And we still really don't have an answer from Vichy Gaming for that. I think in this game, Vichy just assumed they'd be able to like hold the high ground infinitely yeah. with the heroes that they had, and they weren't being too greedy because they've got the global presence of the Bat Ember. Uh, and the Nature's Prophet to be able to set up for pickoffs. I think that was the reasoning behind it. Things just kind of went way too chaotic for them way too quickly. That, this, especially that Roche engagement. Yeah. Scotty is going to be up for Miracle. And, and in general, Team Liquid's just tanking up quite a bit now that we have the Crimson Guard up for the Sand King. Beachy Gaming is so reliant on just being able to burst somebody down when they find the initiation from the Batrider. If there's a team that's able to play Broodmother, it's Liquid. Yeah, certainly. He's got a build that can get on top of the Sniper now with a Blink Dagger, Orchid Nullifier. If he can't PKB and he can't Force Staff, he's pretty much food for the Brood. And Yang was looking for him, but the instant Blink out. GH pressing forward. He wants to be aggressive here. And look how far forward Kuroki is. Not concerned at all at this point. And I love how he's just kind of running at them. Completely unafraid. Probably especially after that last engagement at the bottom. Yeah. Where he got bad rider ulted, gone on by the Nature's Prophet. I like the fact that uh, the gem investment, even though Vichy Gaming has been losing this game for, for a bit, you have to make sure the vision is cleared out from Team Liquid. It's the only way that Sniper and Ember Spirit are going to be able to play this game is, is if they can juke the initiation from Team Liquid. If Liquid is just blind to where those two cores are. Especially with no buyback. Yeah. And now it's a 14k lead for Liquid. Is Pushing out together, yeah, trying to get a ward kill here. They are going to be able to get the Hex out. The Sand King is going to get blown up almost immediately, but the back line is also caught as Mind Control comes forward with Shiva's Black Hole immediately used, but the oh, hole is yes. saving Ori. It's going to be a complete whiff. They are going to back off on the side of Team Liquid. They've only lost one here. Somebody recover that gem, though. They want to make sure that Vichy Gamer are not able to reclaim that. And sure enough, they aren't. That's also Vichy Gaming using a buyback there. But Matamba Ben sees the opportunity to use his Blink Orchid as well as his uh, extra a bit but the blackout of the sprout making sure that liquid can't really pursue they want to be able to get some vision of these liquid heroes and miracle i mean he thought about going on a yang there and with the gem pickup and the kill on the batrider that's gonna
going to be an overall gold win for Liquid, who just continue to snowball. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> even when things go badly for Liquid at this point, they're still going pretty good. It's still good. It's like, they with the black hole, they still won the fight. We're, we're finally, most likely, I don't want to jinx it, going to get a game <laughs> three. We've yeah. got two main stage days that have all gone 2-0. We might finally get a game three for Lucky. Hurricane Pike. You can see Ori is very far behind and he's forced to use that little amount of net worth that he has to invest into a very defensive item in this Hurricane Pike. Just wants to be able to keep his distance from this Monkey King and Broodmother when possible. GH is able to pop the Sandstorm in time because of the loss of the gem. They couldn't find the initiation. And now, with Matumba Man on the front lines, I don't think BG Gaming want to be able to take this. GH blinks forward pretty fearlessly. They are going to be able to get the lasso. Broodmother being focused down right now. They need to be able to get the Hex follow up. Impale as well. They need to be able to burst him. And they'll do so with a finger of death. But now the Wukong's command is out. That's where the Hurricane Pike from Ori comes activated. It's able to get out of that Wukong's command. And there is no further chase. They're just going to be able to take Curl out of the equation pretty quickly. A nice two-man pickoff to the favor of BG Gaming. Maybe more. Mind Control with the Spirit Vessel on him is unable to blink away right now. And Fade just keeping tabs on him. Doesn't have boots though, so he can't actually keep up. And it's in fact the Enigma that has the gem, so... Not the worst case situation, but Liquid still have to be careful with this lead. The Batrider looking once again Yang. Trying to see what he can find. For Liquid, they have to get on top of Ori. You saw that uh, Matama Man got a little bit anxious and he went on a Yang, used his Orchid on him. They waited two seconds, they re-engaged into the fight onto Matama Man. Everyone popped DKBs, so the Epicenter wasn't able to do anything. And with the amount of Force Snaps they have, getting out of the Monkey King ulti was no problem. Yeah. Really sick by Vichy Gaming, the way they've been able to disengage Great itemization in that regard. But they're still missing some damage. Lot comes out from this Ember Spirit. Unfortunately, a Sniper not able to do quite as much. A full Daedalus will certainly help, though, for the Ember Spirit if he can get it. As Paparazzi's actually neck and neck with the uh, Matumba Man Broodmother in net worth. And a DD rune at bottom. Fade's gonna see this. He's gonna see that. He's also going to see the bounty room. He's going to grab that for himself as Curl actually four steps forward. But GH finds the lion, goes Scepter, and thought about going for the TP out, but then he saw mind control was super close by and he dies either way. Yeah, absolutely no chance that DY gets out of there. Now, if you're Liquid, you're just presumably controlling the game until Roche. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you probably don't want to risk another one of those fights because I, Sniper, Batrider, Ember is still always scary. Like, fighting into those three heroes, especially if Batrider gets a BKB at some point, uh, it's not the easiest. You'd have to commit like a black hole just to be able to stop him from dragging somebody back. Yeah. There's no, there's not going to be a Yule's counterplay as a result. So I think Liquid is doing the right thing here. I mean, they're in a do or die situation right now. Just by being a little bit more careful, waiting a minute or two, I, they just watched VP series. Like, VP had that game two wrapped up by this, uh, but being impatient, they just lost it. Yeah. So Liquid's trying not to do the same. And conversely for Vici, the longer this game goes, the more comfortable everyone's gonna get playing. They'll finally get more items, Paparazzi will pick up that big item in the Daedalus, they'll get levels, the BKBs will start to get lower on the side of Liquid. So, I'd still say it's very favored towards Liquid, Certainly with a 14,000 net worth lead, you would expect so, but Beachy Gaming, they're a tough team to break, as you can see the win probability. Stretching up above 90% now. I think the Roshan will matter the most, though. Yeah. He is here the BG third one, too. not give this up, right? Yeah, this is the third one as well. Uh, this will be the refresher. You can't stop mind control to begin with. I think giving it up twice is conceding defeat at this point. But Vici Gaming are not showing any plans of defending here. Ah, uh, this is going to be dead even if they were to move right now. And the train's going to come in, but they'll realize their folly here in a second. Liquid aren't going for a smoke. They are, in fact, claiming this Aegis for themselves. It is taking a little bit, but... 
Beachy are going, ah, there's no way we can go for it. I mean, it's a hard fight to take as well. You naturally want to be able to just play for high ground with an Ember Sniper course. Like, you really don't want to go outside of your base too much at this point. But it does mean you're going to have to give up Aegis Cheese Refresher Shard. Nice catch here. GH using his Yule Scepter to be able to stall out Yang's retreat. Follow up with a Burrow Strike here now. No Firefly to hide in the trees, so Mind Control will join GH. Very nicely done by the fourth position of Team Liquid, finding the pickoffs once again. And Yang's had no buyback, right? Yes. 90 seconds. Yep. This is now... Oh, man, Yang. He was just trying to force them back, but... Liquid, they're just going to push really quickly. Yeah. Now, Vici, I mean, they've struggled with the 5-on-5 five five with the Batrider, who's their main form of Disable. Now you've got to do it without him for another 70 seconds. There's an Aegis Cheese, a Refresher on Mind Control. I mean, every odd is stacked against you at this point. Miracle. Leading the way, but it's not going to be him hitting that Tier 3. They can leave that up to Matumba Man with the Aegis. He starts approaching, pops the Crimson Guard preemptively. Here's they jump in. GH is able to find Fade initially. Has the Sandstorm. AO is going to be able to protect him against any reprisal from DG Gaming. That's going to be the tier 3 down, but Tumble Man's going to pop his ultimate just for the extra damage here on the melee barracks and Vici Gaming. They respond with a glyph. Now trying to control up Matumba Man as best as possible. Just disable him as many times. Yeah, this kind of time down. right now. Bat Rider only needs 20 seconds. And they might have done it here. As yeah, looking like it with that nice chain set up. Epicenter, now the figure of death coming up. The Epicenter on the side. They almost finish up these heroes. Now they do manage to take out the Burden Mother. That is only going to be the first line. Meanwhile, Fate does die in the back lines. He does have a buyback. But Tumba Man needs to be able to retreat out of here. Five more seconds till the, the Bat Rider is here. They didn't lose Rax. They did not. They had to use the buyback on the line, but they didn't lose Rax. This top tier two almost falls. Uh, they got the Aegis out of it too, but look at the buyback situation. <laughs> Five to nothing, and that's really what matters late game. You had to use both of your BKBs to Liquid, managed to keep theirs up. Fade had a buyback as long as, as well as DY. Yang will be able to get outside of the base to get some bounty runes, and that will be his BKB. His initiation will be a lot stronger now. As all these times when he's trying to blink in and lasso somebody, too many times he's been Yules immediately. Yeah, I think at this point you just complete it up. You don't have buybacks on anybody. Saving for the timer I think is going to be a little bit rough. And like we're trying to take advantage of this where they know there's no Aegis and they're going to run into GH here. Might just get up. He managed to get the lasso on to GH, pulling him back to his doom as the sniper picks him apart. That's their gem. They've Mind got control. a bad Mind Control trying to run in. Mind Control is maybe a little bit too far forward. It's a Flame Break pushes him in even deeper. Miracle will just go ahead and pop that Wukong Command. Let's just play it safe and make sure Vici Gaming are not able to win a more major fight than that. Just a simple pick off of the Sand King. We can forgive that. That would have been disastrous if they lost the Enigma there too. Yeah. Still a buyback situation in their favor. Liquid just need to calm down. They can force this game three that everybody wants to see. But Tama Man saying if we can wait for my Lincolns, then I can hit high ground. We won't even have to worry so much about the lasso. Yeah, it's just a little bit spooky right now for Liquid because they had the Aegis Cheese Refresher, Bad Rider dead, and they still didn't really feel comfortable all in committing for the high ground. Oh, another form of great initiation though. DY with the Blink Dagger between Yang having his BKB and this Lion with the Blink. I mean, this is how you change the entire nature of these team fights. Yeah, and you're starting to get vision control again as Matumba Man. He pops it now and he spots Matumba Man. It would be a massive kill. He blinks forward, does see him. He's going to be able to lasso it. He gets away before the battle strike can land. He gets him into low ground. This is a massive kill. But Tumba Man falls. Beachy Gaming have him dead for 90 seconds now. I don't know if they can push out and do anything with this timer. Maybe they can just keep farming. But they have to be careful because Liquid, they're not scared of taking a fight right now. Everyone on their side has a buyback except for Kuro. And look at the timing on that as Yang 
just barely blink dodges. Sends something was up as paparazzi. First for a miracle, a really good position. Here. They are going to be able to get a miracle. Wukong's command off, and it's a big one too. But VG Gaming have so many force stats, they're going to be able to get away. Even Yang, who was slowed down very slightly towards the end, was able to limp away. And it looked like it was a really good position by Miracle. I mean, it was. It's just there's so many force stats on the side of Vici that their ability to disengage off of him is quite quick. It's mind control. Already down here to deal with the Nature's Prophet who almost has that hex completed. And they now have the buybacks on their two major cores. Their high ground defenders. And even though you've got an 18k gold lead on Liquid, I mean, this is far from feeling like a done game. Yeah, man, Vici Gaming, look at this. They're actually going to start getting aggressive here with still another 25 seconds for the Broodmother. This is the perfect time to see if you can force a fight. The oh, Death Timer is way too low for the Broodmother to want to buy back if there is an engagement, but they guess wrong. They smoke farther down. If they cut through mid, they would have found certainly one, maybe two pickoffs, maybe even an entire fight. They still have a chance, though. They're going to run into this back line. Curl is going to be caught up first for the BKB. He goes straight for the evening, but the episode comes up from GH. A fast response from him and Miracle. A nice hit. Yeah, oh, 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 Mackinjo is almost dead. They need to finish him off now, and they do so. He does have a buyback, though, if he wants to be able to blow it. GH with the Yule Scepter onto himself. He immediately gets hexed up by DY. BG Gaming, they win a full team fight here. Paparazzi did have to use his buyback, though. That is rough. As a fade. Oh, fade. He no, got him. Tried to cut down the trees. Didn't actually get him in time. Miracle. Oh, he barely missed oh. on the tree and summon. If Miracle dies there at that point, that's when it becomes full-on disaster. But with the buyback on Paparazzi, not the worst position for Liquid to be in, but they know the word is up here. D.Y. Oh, they can't. Miracle! What were you doing here? You surely had to have known about that word. It was placed by the Furion. He does manage to get off his BKB. Turns around, violently strike, tries to go for the TP away, but gets up with the last Oh, no. BG Gaming, let's roll up that win probability, because they are certainly turning this game around, as you can see it beginning to dip down. And you've got a hex on the Nature's Prophet. Miracle was given a freebie there to get out. Yes. That was his one chance of life. And now with 80 seconds dead for him, the bounty runes are about to respawn. They're about to collect another, like, 1, 1.2k. With it, this time down... There is so, still so many fights that VG Gaming has to win yeah. in order to make this game go even. But this is Meanwhile, how Team Liquid, it feels like they only need one, but this is how it starts. And every fight is getting a bit easier, too, right? You had a 20... I think it was like 23k gold lead, now it's 12... You've got Daedalus, Scythe of Ice, these are items you didn't have last fight. <laughs> the fight before that, you didn't have BKB or Blink Dagger. The rule of regeneration. But Liquid just need one very solid initiation, and I feel like that's that's what's happening, right? Is Vici Gaming, they're the ones who are always finding the right opportunity for a fight. Yeah, just a little bit cleaner, and I, this is the mobility of their lineup. <laughs> is how this happens. Fade, no boots for life. I'm gonna get mobility. Don't mind me, I'm gonna get four staff, I'm gonna get blink dagger, no boots though. It's just easier to play their late game. Yeah. I think. Liquid have done such a good job of keeping this game in the position that it is, but as it goes on, I think just for Vici, you sit back. And mind control, since, uh, since the sick holes he did have early on, just hasn't been able to get in position. He hasn't even been able to pop this refresher. They keep him way far back at all times. It reminds me of the uh, the long range, the um, yesterday series, I can't remember who, but we were talking about just a long range poke against an Enigma. The same thing, right, with this Ember Spear and Sniper so far in the back lines, it's difficult for Mind Control to be able to get close enough to blink anywhere near them without taking any damage. With the double Daedalus and now having the Slight of Fist charges, and it's a massive amount of burst damage Paparazzi can deal. Aura, he's also caught up. It's just right behind Matumba Man and the rest of the game when it comes to net worth. What are the BKB timers now? Oh, Nine Brute seconds. Gun. Yeah. Five for Miracle. Six and for the mind control, six seconds for him. Okay. I am mighty. Double damage rune. This could mean a lot, but the smoke has already popped. Yang in a great position. GH blinks forward, trying to find anybody here, but he's got to be careful. 
That super long range impale from the Lionies. He's gotten plenty of levels. GH gonna get assassinated. Poke down a little bit his Aeon disc now on cooldown, but at least for now, Liquid not able to use that DD rune. They really wanted to take that fight. Yeah. Miracle still hanging around the area. Yang, he does have the initiation. He's pinging like crazy. He sees GH thinking maybe this is free, and indeed, They've it is. His Aeon disc, so if they can actually get on top of him, there's no way GH could survive. They're laying out the damage. Look at that big burst from Paparazzi. He's already dead. Immediately, the buyback goes out. Matumba Man, he couldn't find a jump because the Aeon disc, which was freshly picked up on the Lion, saves him from the Brute Mother. And they get the gem that he bought. So our 23, 22k gold lead is now chipped down to seven. Liquid, I mean, You've got to be a little bit panicked, but calm down. There's no bat rider ult anymore. You're still fine. Yeah. You've had so many chances to I've reset been, this game. We've won like four different fights from each game, and still like looking like an 80% uh, win probability for Liquid. Liquid are going to come outside the pit though. Beachy Gaming, we're looking to be able to get inside that Roshan pit with GH fighting the initiation. But oh, that's that's too too much much. Much. Coming out, but Paparazzi had a remnant, but Mike Control knew where he went to. He's gonna stay on top of the Simmer Spirit. Now he's gonna have no fire. Found the strike as well. He will fall, and he has no buyback. Two minutes on the clock for him. And they were looking for that one fight for the last 15 minutes or so, and like you said, you still favored Liquid's chances. Finally, they put it together now, and Vici Gaming, they're gonna have to fight up against Aegis, Cheese, Refresher Shard, and a three versus five, as only Fade has the buyback here. They were waiting so long for Mind Control to come through with the black hole. Yeah. That's what they were missing in these last engagements. They finally get it. It doesn't even matter who he gets it on at this point. With the BKB and his Lincolns, it's impossible for them to stop. All right, this is gonna take some very aggressive play and a lot of creative thinking here for Vici Gaming to make this three-man smoke work for them somehow but GH has already found the initiation instead of the other way around they do have the force to ask to defend but at this point Liquid just going for the as long as they just don't dive the fountain they just go for the throne Vici Gaming they've got to find a way to be able to lure Liquid in here Glyph is going to go down 15 seconds for the Lion Yang Wukong's command goes out, and look at that AoE. And they gotta do something now. Tier Tier four, 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 fast. GH just the gonna go to the epicenter, make the initiation while the rest of his team goes for the throne. He just gonna try goes out, and the throne's gonna fall here, and that's it, Team Liquid! We'll take game these, and gentlemen, we're going to a game three. We finally get that game three that we were looking for. The best part about a best of three, 